Hello everybody, this is Mr. Funreel. In this tutorial I will show you how you can create bump maps and environmental map masks for Left 4 Dead 2. If you don't know what a bump map or an environmental map mask is, a bump map can create the effect of change of depth on a model, making some stuff stick out even though it doesn't, and the environmental map masks can give you a lightning effect on the gun like here on the original shotgun Valve made it using the fong masks you can see here the light on the shotgun it doesn't really look good because the spots the light is sitting on is just white I already prepared a skin with a bump map for it just to show you how not to do it some people think they can just create the skin and then afterwards take the finished texture, run it through the bump map creator program and then use this as a bump map. I used this texture here, run this texture through the bump map creator and then I got this. You will see now Twilight's face has all kinds of lines on it like on the pupils, the lightning effects on the eyes, the glasses, all those lines indicate a change of depth on the model. So in Half-Life Model Viewer and in the game the gun will look like this. It's pretty ugly because everything on her face is standing out. Her hair, eyebrows, even the pupils. To avoid that Open up the skin on your model, select the image, in this case the face, and I will make it into one solid color, preferably a color that is not used on the gun itself. If the gun would be blue, you could use red. Now my gun is gray, so I use white. The best thing you could do is to remove all those scratch effects if you can, because otherwise those scratch effects would stand out too, and that's not something you want to have. Now I can export this texture and then run it through my bump map creator. As soon as the texture is saved, you can open up VTF Edit, takes a little while to load, click on File, Import, search for the texture you just saved, in my case it's this here, and then in this new VTF Options window, click on Generate Normal Map. Those settings down here can change the way of what the bump map will look like. I prefer 3x3, max RGB and alpha result set to black, scale 4. And then you just hit OK. Depending on the pixel size of the texture, it's gonna take long or not so long. My texture is 40,096 by 40,096, so that might take two minutes. As soon as VTF Edit finished creating the bump map, you can scroll around your picture and look at it from a close perspective to see if it looks like what you want. And as you can see now, Twilight's face is one solid thing and it doesn't have lines in it. So I can now click on File, Save As, and then I always prefer to select the original texture and then just add a underscore bump to the name. Now I have the bump map texture, but the model itself doesn't have the settings, so it could use the bump map. 
For that, you open up the Shotgun AVMT file, or whatever VMT file your model has, and add this line, a dollar, bump map, and then the file path of the bump map. Models, backslash, V models, backslash weapons, backslash shotguns, slash V shotguns A bump. And then you can copy your bump map and your VMD file into your game folders. Reload the texture in VTF edit. Um, out of model viewer, pardon me. And now you see the face is one solid thing. It looks much better. And if you now would look at the scratches, I told you before, those are not standing out now. They were before. But it still looks bad because of the Fong map. For that, I will just replace all the Fong map settings and add my own environmental map mask settings. All you have to do is open the VMT file, remove all the stuff except the base texture and bump map, and then you write dollar normal map alpha and map mask. Then a space, one. And I always add those things to Fong 1, Fong Exponent 20, Fong Boost 0.75, Fong Friends Ranges 3, 4, 6. Then you save it and copy the VMT file into your game folder. If I now reload it, you can see now that I don't have all the light settings now because my bump map alpha map is black. To change that, you can open up the bump map and then, in my case, I don't want the face to be shiny so I make it dark. White things are extremely shiny and black things don't shine at all. My face is now gray and I also want the light on the scratches so I just make one thing out of it one texture because right now I have many layers now my whole texture is one layer. Cup it into my bump map texture and make it grayscale. You copy the grayscale texture, put it into your alpha, and now you could play around with it if you want. Let's do it in a different way. Let's just use this to save time on the tutorial, of course. Now we can save it again as bump map. When you saved the texture, always check the bump map if the alpha map of the bump map is actually working. I know that. Photoshop sometimes refuses to save it. To check it, you could either open up the texture in VTF Edit, go to Channel and hit A for Alpha Channel, and it works, or you could 
keep your RGB channel and just hit on view mask. The dark stuff on the bump map will be transparent, in this case those white grey checkerboard, and the white stuff on the alpha will still be blue. It basically just applies the alpha map onto your texture and shows this into VTF edit. In my case the bump map works and I'll just copy this into my game folder now. And now you can see it's not as bright white as it was before with the original Fong stuff Valve made and it just looks much better than the original skin because now the barrel has some nice effects on it and it just looks a li little bit more realistic than a super shiny shotgun. This was my tutorial about bump maps and environmental map masks. I hope you enjoyed it and you can use my information. See you next time.